Good afternoon, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman, out here delivering the mail for you people. Let me just tell you before I get into Dak Prescott and the Denver Broncos. Let me just tell you. People are ordering fools right now. I have over 115 packages. I'm a mailman. This is not Christmas time. Amazon is kicking my butt. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Jeff Bezos, job security, buddy. But man, am I getting lit up today. But that's not the reason for this video. I got a 10 minute break. I'm gonna use it to talk to you guys. Um, Patrick Sertan is in discussion, uh, he's not. The Broncos are in discussions with the Cowboys along with a lot of other people for Patrick Sertan. Now, do I think the first and foremost, um, Sean Payton, he's smart enough to know as bad as that team is, and they do have talent. That's one of his arguably the most talented uh, guy on his roster. He would be smart not to, to close the deal on anything. Um, he would be smart not to close the deal on any player. My door would be open, okay? My door would be open. Do I think it's going to happen? I'll get to that. Um, so, surprise, surprise. They want a first round pick and then some. Um, a one and a two and a player, depending on what player, done. Done deal, people. Done deal. Here, let me move you guys up. Done deal. There, uh, that's better. Done deal. That would be a done deal. But the main problem is Dallas is balking at a first round pick. Now, this comes from a reliable source. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can take me at my word or you could not. That's, that, that's totally up to you. Now, Dallas isn't the only team that Denver's talking to. If you're Denver and you want to trade with Dallas, that's fine. But Dallas is going to be in the 20s. We could argue we're at in the 20s, but they're going to be in the 20s, which is a second, really a second round grade. As I've said in the past, drafting the 16 to 19 tops, 15 to 19 first round graded players. After that, you're draft, you're you're drafting a guy who is not really separated himself, and you know is worth a second round pick. So. You know, Dallas is going to have to sweeten the deal. But Jerry Jones does not want to give up a first-round pick. And here's the reason why. Mark Combs touched on it again. Shout out to him. He's killing it. Um, Jerry wants to be talked about. Jerry wants to have a, a first-round pick. They just can't stand not having a first-round pick. Well, you had a first-round pick this past year. Now, I'm not. If you guys watch me, you know I love Mozzie Smith. That doesn't mean I thought we should have drafted him. I don't own the team. They drafted who they drafted. I did my due diligence on the player. I think he could turn into, after a couple years, into a solid, solid player. Things you can't teach with Mozzie is his strength. But he, he pretty much needs everything else. We need to get him playing it going in the right direction but he's not playing he was a first round pick and he was drafted in that area that i'm talking about with this upcoming draft if patrick sertan is on the table and they want a one and a three and a player if you don't do that a trade jerry jones or cat boy aka stephen jones or you know then uh, you're not doing your job i'm not going to throw anybody on the bus i'm not going to add anybody who's had the back of cat boy I'm not going to do that. You're not doing your job. That's a player. He's 23 years old. He's got two years left on his a deal. And you own the uh, and you have a team option. Go do the deal. If he is literally out there, do the deal. I don't like dropping players. You guys can do the math. But there's a safety that we just assigned to a long-term deal. Maybe you throw him... Get him in there with the emergence of Marquise Bell. That's just 
game time Brian spitballing. Just look at the big picture, people. We can't keep everybody. If you want to re-sign Micah Parsons, you want to re-sign CeeDee Lamb, you want to re-sign our young guys, you got Tyler Biotis coming up. We have to identify whether he's the guy or he's not the guy. I think he's the guy. I think he's really stepped his game up. Our, you know, And I will talk about that on our lunchtime chat later that I think I fixed what the, you know, the problem I was having. There was multiple updates on my phone that I did not know about. I had the automatic update. Well, that's BS. None of it updated. So I think it'll work today. Let's knock on wood. Let's knock on wood that it works. So at 2.45 today, lunchtime ch uh, chat, Eastern, we'll talk about all this and whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, I'm in on Patrick Sertan. I'm in on Derrick Henry. Now, supposedly they're looking at multiple defensive multiple defensive um, guys, okay? Um, what about the offense, okay? If you guys saw my morning video, if you haven't, please go down and watch my last video on the way to work this morning about um, Dak Prescott. Trust me, people, that's all true. That also comes from a reliable person. Uh, real reliable. I'm just going to leave it right there. And it's pretty sad. But between me and you, if we're thinking about firing our coach in a bye week, that's not a good position to be in. But I, I would just say, whoever didn't watch that video, please, I'll go back and watch it. But you, I want to hear from you guys. Would you do that for a first and a third and a player? For Patrick Sertan? Mind you, he was arguably the best rookie in his rookie class two years ago. He came out the same time. He was drafted right ahead of Michael Parsons. That was the guy that we were looking... Well, so now we're hearing that they really liked... Uh, the other guy who's been hurt with the uh, I can't think of his name right now sorry but yeah regardless they were going corner when both corners left they made the deal with the Eagles to allow Eagles to get Devontae Smith we weren't drafting Devontae Smith we already got CeeDee Lamb we ended up with Michael Parsons hell of a fallback but if you can now rewrite that and also get Patrick Sertan and this will set you up going forward with Diggs coming back. Gilmore can be a third guy. I would imagine Gilmore is not ready to retire. But again, you see what's going on here. Gilmore is a solid, solid guy alongside a, a pro bowler. So that would fill in Diggs' spot right away. And going forward, we would be unbelievable at the cornerback position. Do the deal, Jerry Jones. Do the deal, Stephen Jones, aka Catboy, this is a no-brainer. But we have our we have our owner balking at giving just a one because he wants to be relevant at the draft. People, do we want to win or do we not want to win? It is mind-boggling. This isn't a, a ho hum player. This is a Pro Bowl player. Go get the player. You don't usually get a chance to get a guy like this. It's not my fault that you overpaid for Trey Lance. Maybe they want a young quarterback because the biggest mistake that the Denver Broncos have made since you know was extending Russell Wilson. That has been a failure, a monumental mistake for that organization that's going to cost them. I don't know his contract details, but I'm sure you could get out of it sooner rather than later. Maybe you want Trey Lance, okay? Maybe they want Trey Lance in a first-round pick and another pick. Fine. Take him. Take him. You need to, if you want to win and you want to really know for sure what's going on with Dak Prescott, put a team around him. Stop taking guys away from him. You know, there was a deal on the place for Jerry Judy at the trade deadline last year. For a second round pick. The Broncos at the last minute said they wanted a two and a late round pick. Or two and something else. I haven't been able to acquire what else they wanted. But Dallas is willing to give up a two for Jerry Judy. Now Jerry Judy has done squat this year. He's been a nothing but a headache. I'll take Cortland Sutton if I had to pick. What says you? 
But that's my 10 minutes. I will talk to you later. Leave me in the comments. Who would you take? Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton? And what's your opinion on my guy, the cornerback, out of the Denver Broncos? All right? Let me know. Peace.